Hello, my name is Adam Bolgatz, and today I'm going to show you how to set a Mac OS 10.7 line firmware password, as well as why it's a good idea to do so. Without a firmware password online, it's incredibly easy to reset the password for any user account without knowing the password to that user account. Additionally, it's very easy to boot your Mac into target disk mode, which means that if you have another Mac, you can just plug your Mac into another Mac with a Firewire cable, boot up your computer holding down Command T, and even if you have a password on your user account on your Macintosh, it will show up as a an external disk on my computer. Um, this is not a problem if you use File Vault disk encryption. I won't be able to get to your files, but most people don't use that. And a firmware password is just a it's a very easy to set security measure. So first I'm going to show you how easy it is without a firmware password to reset a password online. So if you have a lying computer and it's turned off and you boot it up and you hold down command R, you're going to boot into the Mac OS X recovery partition, which gets installed in every lying machine. And from here, it's very easy to reset a password. All I do is I go to utilities, terminal, and once that loads, I type in reset password with no spaces and click enter. You see a window that pops up and it says reset password. Select the volume of your Macintosh installation. Select the user account of the that you would like to reset the password for and enter a new password for that user account. You can enter a password hint and then go ahead and click save. Your login password will be reset, and notice it did not ask me for the current password for that user account. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's very easy to reset the password for any user account on any Lion machine. A firmware password prevents you from booting into the Lion recovery partition without entering the firmware password. Additionally, it prevents you from booting to a CD or booting into target disk mode without a password. So it's a very easy thing to set, and you won't be bugged with it unless you try and do a non-standard boot. So I'm going to go ahead and close the reset password, and I'm going to quit terminal. And it's going to bring me back to the Mac OS and Utilities, and this is the window that pops up when you boot your computer into the recovery partition. And it's very easy to do so. All you do is turn your computer off, turn it back on, and hold down Command and R while it's booting up. Pretty much, you actually want to hold it down before you hear the startup chime. Um, it might take you a few times to get the timing right. Anyway, once it's booted up, all you need to do is go to Utilities, Firmware Password Utility. And uh, this is a virtual machine, so apparently firmware passwords are not supported, but on a normal Mac, it's going to pop up with just a little window that says Enter a Firmware Password. And uh, then there will be a confirmation, and you type those both in and click OK and a firmware password will be set. Um, it's pretty simple even though I can't show you. Um, then every time you try and boot your computer up to a CD or to the recovery partition or from an, uh, as a target disk, um, it's going to ask you for that password. Otherwise you won't even know it exists. Just a simple security measure.